We are back at it again with another Technique Tuesday coming at ya. My name is Steven Wonderboy Thompson, AKA welterweight UFC fighter. Thank you for joining us. We're today gonna be discussing three fight ending combinations, boys and girls. Hope you enjoy. You know what? I'm not gonna sugar sugarcoat this any longer. We're just gonna get right into it. These techniques that I'm about to show you, they're tricky, all right? Not everybody's gonna be able to do it. it requires at least a power level of 10,000. So if you've been training and watching my Technique Tuesdays, then you're there. You've been watching from the beginning, you're probably at level 10,000, power level of 10,000. So, here we go. All right, well the first combination I use a lot when I spar, it's very basic, but very effective, ladies and gents. Starting off, good fighting stance. You're out there moving, you've done, you've done touched your opponent a little bit, boom, with a good front kick. Uh, that front kick can go to the hip and go to the body. I'm I want them thinking low, okay? I want them thinking low. Now this front kick that I'm using is a snapping front kick, aiming for the solar plexus if I can. All right, boom. I've already touched a little bit with the, ah, that little snapping front kick. From there, before I even set my foot down, hitting it with the jab cross. I know it's basic, but it's is effective. So, uh, boom, and then boom, ah, ah, and then I move back out. And I can even do it with the back leg. Ah, maybe hit it with the back leg. And sometimes I may throw it, sometimes I won't. I try and trick them. I, will, I just pretend I'm gonna throw it, sit down, throw my jab cross. Boom, ah, ah, just like so. Very simple. Fake it, ah, ah, jab cross. All right, one more time. Fake it, ah, ah. but you really gotta sell it. All right, you're faking it, but what better fake than the real thing? So really sell it. Front kick, jab, cross, ladies and gents. So all the techniques that I'm doing in these combinations are techniques that I've discussed in my previous Technique Tuesdays. So if you wanna know a little bit more about those in detail, go check those out. Combination number two. Now I love this combination, boys and girls, because you gotta be quick. I like to stay out of range, so I'm moving in. I'm kind of working my feints, let my partner move. They're, they're thinking I'm coming. And then I hit him at the right moment. All right, this is the feel. Now again, all these techniques that I'm doing, you can change it up, you can modify them a little bit. Okay, you don't have to go round kick head level every time. You can go round kick body level. I can jab uh, body level, I can jab head level when I do this combination. Next combo is this, simple. Shovel jab, round kick, cross. Moving those techniques up and down, ladies and gentlemen. I can even go here, round kick to the leg, all right? So jab, round kick, cross, back up high. Like I said, if you wanna be tricky, have some fun with it, move these techniques up and down. I like to keep my opponents guessing, not just punching towards the head. You gotta mix it up, up and down the body. So, I'm here. Shuffle jab, round kick, cross. Or I could go, shuffle jab, round kick, cross. See how, see how I went to the went to the, uh, the leg, or my first technique can go to the body, then back up to the head, then back down low. Shuffle jab, round kick, cross. Moving on to technique combination number three. For this one, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a live body. Sweet tea! Here I am. You, you summoned me? Yes. You rang. Mm. Quickly, what movie? Dude, what is it? Icebox, icebox. Uh, oh, the, uh, <laughs> Little giants. Little giants, dude. dude. <laughs> I gotta get my stuff on. Okay, finally. All right, we got sweet tea out here. I like when I throw my combinations to either start with a kick or finish with a kick. I don't like just to throw my hands or just to throw my kicks. Put them together. That's how you're gonna trick people. The next combination, pretty simple. Like I said, basic. I've covered all these techniques in my Techie Tuesdays. Watch them. I want to be very light, light-footed. I don't want to stand there unless I'm trying to stand, uh, set something up. I like to play a little bit. I like to move, I like to throw feints to get my opponent to react to them. If I can see what kind of reaction they're making, we'll determine what technique I'll throw next. It tells me a lot about a guy and how they're gonna block if I can get them to react to stuff. Even though I don't throw a technique, if they start flinching a lot, that's when I got you. So, first one. Just, did you hear that right now, man? It's pretty good. We're working on my singing. All right. I'm gonna start off with a, now I like to use this one when somebody's coming in. Especially when I got a guy who's kind of walking forward, kind of walking for plodding their way in. 
So one thing I like to do, now my first technique is gonna be a right hand or left hand, whatever side forward you got, you have for it at the time. Now the right hand can go to the body, it can go to the head, okay, it doesn't matter. Second technique is gonna set up my good hook, lead hand hook, all right? So I'm gonna go to the body, gonna go back up to the head. Like I said before, whenever I'm sparring, I like, to, I like to keep my guy guessing. I don't like to throw all my techniques to the head because then it gets easy to block. So I walk up and down my partner's body. I'll go right hand to the body. Coming up with a lead hand hook to the head. Boom. Coming right back. Back leg roundhouse kick. Boom. Now normally, whenever I do this, my partner will back up a little bit, okay? Even if they don't back up, they, maybe there's just a big guy, maybe I'm sparring somebody a few weight classes up above me. They just keep coming walking forward. I can still throw that roundhouse kick backing up with power. I'm gonna break it down slow, then we're gonna speed it up. The guy's plot his way in, right hand to the body, left hand with the hook, coming right back. I'm using that hook to pull myself back into, boom, the roundhouse kick. Now, like I said before, I can go up high, down low, and then finish with a roundhouse kick. And even kick it up a notch. Question mark kick at the end. Are you ready, sir? All right, so here we go. One more time. This time, I'm gonna add a little delay on the roundhouse. Yes, one more time. Woo! Yeah! Sorry guys, I can't show you that kick yet. I almost did. <laughs> Once we get 100,000 subscribers, I'm gonna need your help, people. We're gonna be giving you the sidekick. And spin sidekick. <sighs> All right, there you have it, guys. Ladies and gents, three finishing combinations. Like I said before, very basic techniques, but hey, you've seen these guys getting put to sleep with basic techniques, so put it to work. Next time you spar, try and use one of these combinations, boys and girls. Watch it as you're going to sparring class, okay? Make sure you hit that subscribe button, guys. I love you. I'll catch you on the flip side. See you next Tuesday.